I'm inside and I saw The Boys Season 2, Episode 1, The Big Ride. It is directed by Phil Segrisha, written by Eric Kripke. And if you've not seen this episode, I will spoil it for you. This episode starts and we're following Huey, Frenchie, Kumiko, and they're all in hiding. Not to mention that we got Billy Butcher is just gone where could he possibly gone it seems like huey in this episode is trying to determine what to do and also they learned that there's like a like a soup a soup terrorist and that's no good soup terrorism's no good and of course when they're like okay so we got we got to deal with this whole situation okay we got a soup terrorist on the loose and we gotta inform the CIA agent that we have uh, cahoots. Oh no, the person's dead? Uh, what happened? Well, this doesn't seem suspicious at all. It totally seems suspicious. 110% suspicious. Something happened here. Something's happening in behind the scenes. And of course, I do like Frenchie and Kamiko's relationship. It's starting to blossom. I appreciate them. It seems like Kamiko is still trying to deal with her brother. Where is my brother? Where is my family? I'm like, do you have any family? You know, she's, you know, she doesn't talk that, like, at all. She's mute. But it seems like she's longing for her family via Frenchie translating it for the audience and also for the rest of the group, which I like. And I just like their relationship. And speaking of Huey, Huey's like, oh, hey, Annie. Do you want to get in trouble? They're like, bro, why, why do you gotta rope her into all of this stuff? You're trying to take down Vought, you're trying to take down the company behind the seven. And so you're like, okay, we, we gotta have a sample of Compound V and we're going to release it to the media. That's the goal is have them deal with all the press or whatever. And so we have Annie's here, and Annie's like, all right, yeah, I'll steal Compound V. And I'm just like, wow. Like, I know that you hate Vought so much, but you're not at all scared of the consequences that could be had. And I'm like, there might be some scary moments where you could get caught with Compound V, but you're in the process of smuggling it. You're, you're going to smuggle it. And I'm like, please, Annie, I hope that you're safe. I know you're like starting up with the plans. Like we gotta, we gotta get some compound V and you're not exactly executing on that plan in this episode, but you know, that's later episodes. This one, she's like, yeah, I'm totally down on your side. I am a little bit hesitant at first, but I gotta, you know, I have to. And it takes her a while to warm up to it because Huey's initially, his, his initial, way of asking her is kind of like in a in a shaky manner is like kind of weak about mm, and I'm like bro I, I get it she's like your girlfriend and you're asking her to do something high and mighty but like maybe you should ask her with a lot more confidence man oh man but I'm so surprised that she even said yes she was gonna go undo it and also we have Homelander is a big new threat. Uh, his mom, haha, <laughs> mom. His his manager slash caretaker slash handler is gone. And so Homelander is experiencing all the powers that he has. He's able to experience everything without supervision. So he's the top of Vought. And it seems like he's like determined to stay on top. He's like, all right, it is now my team. It's my team. Oops, I hit the microphone. It's my team, mine. You know, it, I, those feelings start to blossom in this episode, especially since he has like total control. And I feel like he's the type of person to, to demand people behave in a certain way and make it so he's the strongest person on the team. Just optically, you know? Also, the Deep is excommunicado. He has to go to, like, essentially AA, but it's for sexual assault. S-A? S-A-A? What is it? I don't know. Anyway, he's, like, talking to a therapist. He's like, man, 
why do I even do all of this? You know, the therapist is imploring him to understand himself, which I like because he's got some major issues that haven't been uncovered yet. And they don't begin to uncover in this episode. I'm just excited to see what the deep problems are. Ooh, and I'm also really excited to see if uh, Homelander turned that on. Did he turn on the grinding machine? This episode is exciting. I'm excited to watch the rest of the season. What do you think of this episode, chat? I enjoy this. I like Huey has assumed responsibility, he has assumed leadership status, but also Frenchie is there to talk with him at the same time they're like kind of co-leaders at this point but i really think they really need billy butcher so i gotta give this episode this episode is like a solid 7.8 out of 10. if you like this review watch another one the platform really likes that if you want a fast track boo review you can do that for 20 dollars dinos at patreon.com slash asd presents and if like to help support the daily grindiness of all them daily movie reviews go to this link tree find the way you can help support the daily grind of all them daily movie reviews so go here and until next time, I'm in salad sauce. See you later, my sad croutons and bacon bits.